Chapter 19 Dignity of Labor We will learn about Meaning of Labor Meaning of Dignity of Labor Importance of an Occupation Importance of Dignity of Labor People work in different positions and capacities to make a living. All work is important and there is no bad or good work. We must respect and value people who help us. Meaning of Labor Work is essential for our livelihood. The term labor means the work that we do. There exist two distinct types of labor and work. Manual or physical labor and intellectual labor. Individuals engaged in manual labor, such as a mason, a cobbler or a sweeper, work with their hands. On the other hand, professionals like engineers, lawyers, doctors or counselors do intellectual labor as they use their intelligence and exercise their judgment. Meaning of Dignity of Labor the concept of dignity of labor means that all workers, regardless of whether they are involved in manual labor or intellectual labor, deserve equal treatment and respect. No worker, especially physical worker, should be discriminated on the basis of her or his occupation. Every job and worker holds inherent dignity and we should honor and appreciate all forms of work. In other words, a physical laborer or worker is as respectable as an engineer or a doctor. Dignity or respect can be achieved only through hard work and sincerity towards the work that one does. It is considered that a beggar has no dignity of work or labor, she or he does. In fact, a beggar does not do any type of physical or intellectual labor. Therefore, begging is prohibited and is considered as an offense. Knowledge Hunter Mahatma Gandhi also fought against untouchability. He stressed on the dignity of labor. He wanted to change the attitude of people towards the so-called dirty work. He renamed untouchables as Harijans, which means children of God. Dignity of Labor in Ancient India The system of education was quite different in ancient India. There was Gurukul system of education. The schools were called ashrams where all the students were treated equally. Whether the student was a prince or a poor Brahmin's son, they all had to do manual work in the ashram. Interestingly, this manual labor was considered an integral part of their education. In the Gurukul system of education, the teachers were called gurus. Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar, Swami Vivekanan and Rabindranath Tagore taught us dignity of labor. Swami Vivekanan talked about loving all the Indians and regarding them our brothers and sisters. Rabindranath Tagore said that the God is there where a laborer is working on the road in scorching heat of the sun. So, for the progress of an individual, the society and the nation, it is necessary to respect the dignity of labor. Importance of an Occupation the work that a person does to earn her or his living is her or his occupation or work. It is impossible for any one of us to do all kinds of work ourselves as we all depend on others to provide essential services. If an occupation or if any one occupation is discontinued by its occupation holders, its negative impact falls on the society. For example, a doctor cannot do farming and a computer engineer cannot stitch her or his own clothes or make furniture. Therefore, each and every grown-up person should have an occupation, irrespective of the fact each job has its own importance and every job holder has a dignity which should be valued and respected. Different Types of Occupations Some professions or works are voluntary. We do not earn money from them. Social workers. Some good people do work without taking money. They volunteer to do the work only to help others or to serve the society. This selfless form of service is called social work and those who dedicate themselves to it are called social workers. Volunteers. A volunteer is an individual who selflessly offers her or his service without expecting payment. There are some people who help during a festival to control the traffic or help others to maintain queue. During any natural calamity, many people come forward to help the victims physically. Such people are called volunteers. 
we should hold great respect for them. Importance of Dignity of Labor Labor is the root of the strength of a nation. A country cannot prosper if its citizens are not laborers. In other words, if we do not give importance to the dignity of labor at national level, our country will not prosper. The economic well-being of a country largely depends on three sectors, agriculture, industry and trade. To grow in these sectors, we rely on the efforts of ordinary laborers working in the fields, factories, mines and mills. Their employers should respect them and pay them well because it is ultimately their labor that leads to the prosperity of the nation. Key words Dignity Honor Discriminate Differentiate Prosperity Affluence or Wealth Labor is Tough Occupation The work that a person does to earn his or her living. I should remember People work in different positions and capacities to make a living. We must respect all the workers or labourers. The work that a person does to earn her or his living is called an occupation. A volunteer is a person who offers her or his service free of cost. Each job has its own importance and every job holder has a dignity which should be respected.